Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I am going to work on a sensor, digital sensor that is LIS 3 DHTR. To have a knowledge about this sensor, to have a look about this sensor, so what we have to do is to visit the website that is controleverything.com and here we have to search out for this sensor as you can see on my screen. Now let's have a look over this sensor. As you can see, it's a 3 axis accelerometer. So it will have a digital output motion sensor as you can see free fall detection 3 axis accelerometer 60 40 orientation detection these are some of its features which you would like to see uh, you can purchase this sensor now i'm going to interface the sensor list 3 dhtr with a raspberry pi and i need a python code so this is the resource tab and here comes the python code as you can see on my screen now you can download the python code sample as a zip file from this very site and here comes the link now you can download it here and you can have the choice to download the link and the code from github.com and the repository there is you are looking forward to explore is github and it's control everything community so what we require is some hardware so that we can process the working of this sensor along with the raspberry pi and some other connections we need to put up further ahead let's look forward to it this here is our sensor lis pre dhtr and this here is our Raspberry Pi. Now these are the GPI pins of the Raspberry Pi. Now we want to make a connection among the sensor and the Raspberry Pi and here comes an I2C sheet. Now this is available on the website controleverything.com and we want to make a connection. So gently place over the I2C shield over the GPI pins of the Raspberry Pi. Now this here is our connecting cable. Make the connection among the sensor and the connecting cable and while making this connection make sure that the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and similarly this fundamental rule has to be applied for the i2c shield also now we want to make the raspberry pi on so a micro usb cable comes into the picture and just insert it over the power jack and it will light it up now the last part is to make an internet connection so for that we have two ways first of all this is an ethernet cable now gently insert it over the power jack the second way is this a wireless wi-fi nano adapter now it can make your work a lot easier so we are done with the connections part next we require our code so that we can interface it with our sensor and the raspberry pi let's have a look over it now i'm going to show the interfacing of the python code along with the raspberry pi and the sensor list 3 dhtr so for that I have to log into the website that is github.com and here we have to search uh, for the repository that is control everything community. Now let's have a look over that and here we have to look out for the sensor that is LIS 3 dhtf and here we go. This is the python code we are looking forward to explore but before that let's have a look over the instructions we need to follow to pursue this code python code. Now we have to download and install SMBus library on the Raspberry Pi and the steps are being provided on this very link. Let's have a link so that we can have an open view regarding the installation. As you can see, examples, dependencies, installation commands, everything is there. So you need to follow this carefully. Now this is the command to run the Python code for this sensor. Note it down. Let's get back to business and here comes the Python code. It's .py extension and I will be explaining every step. So we have to import and Sembus and time libraries and we have the address of the sensor that is 0x18. Now comes the writing part which says that we have to select control register 1 having address 0x20 and 0x27 is the command we have selected which says that power on mode data selection rate equal to 10 hertz xyz axis are enabled and writing command is here. Now we have to select control register 4 having address 0x23 0x00 is the command we have to send that is continuous update full scale selection range equal to plus minus 2g and the writing command is here for that now as the sensor is being taken care of by the commands we have just sent the sleep function is there so that sensor will have a look after for the commands we have just sent after that a sensor will respond back and we have to take the response which is in the form of data we are reading back from the register 0x28 2 bytes for the x-axis data and the conversion of the x-axis takes place according to the data sheet. 
Uh, similarly, we have the data read and the conversion take loss for y and here z axis. So as we are done with the writing reading conversion part, we need to follow up the results on the screen, display it in the form of acceleration which is in x, y and z axis. Its percentage D format raw values are being displayed. So this is how a Python code looks like for the sensor. Now what we require is to show the working. So let's have a look over this also. Here comes the interesting part which is to show the practical working of this code along with the sensor. So first of all copy this entire Python code and open up the terminal for the Raspberry Pi we have just connected through the internet here create a new file LIS free DSTR for the reference and the PY is the extension as you can see for a Python file here paste the entire code and then save it now this is the command to run the code as you notice and here we go as you can see acceleration in X, Y, Z axis is there and it's almost constant which says that there is no motion for the sensor but when I try to move the sensor there will be changes in the acceleration for x y and z axis and you can see constantly changing values of these uh, acceleration data on the screen as I move the sensor along with so this is how uh, Python code works along with this sensor now what do we want to know is the benefits the features and the applications for this sensor now the LIS 3 DHTR is an ultra low power high performance 3 axis linear accelerometer belonging to the nano family with digital I2C SPI serial interface standard output. Now the device features ultra low power operational modes that allow advanced power saving and smart embedded functions. This sensor has dynamically user selectable full scales of plus minus 2G up to 16G and it's capable of measuring accelerations with output data rates from 1 hertz to 5 kilohertz. Now various applications uses this sensor which are motion activated functions, free fall detection, click, double click recognition, pedometer, display orientation, gaming and virtual reality, input devices, vibrational monitoring and compensation and a lot more. Now you can purchase the sensor from the website controleverything.com as you can see and you can also have the code from the resource tab you can download it from this site you can also have the code from github repository and the repository is control everything community now you can have the queries on control everything.com you can contact there and you can have your comments posted on the community page also for relevant blogs and articles you can reach us on instructables.com and to have more video tutorials you can subscribe our YouTube channel. In the end I just want to make it clear that you understood everything and in case of any issue regarding any part of this video you can contact me on controleverything.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and yourself have a good one. Thanks a lot for watching.